Burrell Smith of Chicago, Illinois, visually based archaeological and theological discoveries. in which I would like to share with you. 30 million years ago, the Eastern African continent coastline A was not separated from the V-shaped piece of land B. If you cross the Euphrates River, you will see this is where Iraq, Jerusalem, Judea is located and gathered. So this East African continent coastline tells us that 30 million years ago before the flood of Noah or the Babylonian epic of Ilgamash, Gilgamash, there was this African hermetic black descendants of the Giza Sphinx line of the tribe of Judah. This Giza Sphinx of the book of Genesis 49 chapter 9 verse caps down as a lion and as an old lion. It says who should rouse them up? Well, after finding a Giza Sphinx two face upon Jerusalem foundation stone, since the foundation stone existed before the Dome of the Rock, the Octagon the building structure was constructed around it. Therefore, the Giza Sphinx line of Judah that was denied in the theological based form of racism by King James appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars in the 16th century. Now we see the Dome of the Rock foundation stone carved evidence of a a black man facing one in a row Egyptian hijra. So this Judea, Jerusalem and Judea and Babylon is located within the East African continent coastline. So this is where the African continent civilization of Ham populated the Judean Delta, Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip. But if you go back to the Exodus, remember what was kind of hidden in the King James Bible was that the Giza Sphinx, lion of the tribe of Judah, who cast out as a lion, he actually ruled the land of Goshen, G-O-S-H-E-N, for 400 years, right up until the Exodus. Now, what the Bible scholars and European uh, King James Bible writers got wrong was that they tell us that Joseph ruled <laughs> over the 11 uh, sons of Jacob. Keep in mind, we I say 11 sons of Jacob because before the Europeans wrote in the King James Bible, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So it's still saying when Israel left Egypt to the Exodus, we should say one of the 11 sons of Jacob. But the fourth son of Jacob leave, is in Egypt for 400 years as the Giza Sphinx lion of the tribe of Judah, Genesis 49 9, who ruled over the biblical Egyptian land of Goshen for 400 years. So the Exodus, in this theological based form of racism we uncover in the King James Bible, they tell us that the Israel exited out from the land of Ramesses across the Euphrates River, towards the, heading towards the Promised Land. But if you cross Eastern Africa, Giza area, Giza Sphinx period, pyramid area, you're going to cross the Euphrates River, the Red Sea and the Euphrates River. Now, going east, you're going to see this V-shaped piece of land. Therefore, the only thing opposite of the Giza Sphinx of the King James Bible in front of the Egyptian pyramid land is this V-shaped piece of land. Well, at the top of it, we see uh, a Jerusalem and Judea. Now Ezra 1 3 says, let us go up to Jerusalem which is located in the land of Judah and build the house of the Lord God. This will be the Dome of the Rock. But this is why we find in the basement of the Dome of the Rock an ancient foundation stone that has a Giza thing face carved in stone and a six point star with the sun. So, this great archaeological and theological discovery of Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois uncovered the Giza thing face upon Jerusalem foundation stone which existed before the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem was ever constructed or built. So this gives the clout back to the Giza Sphinx line and the tribe of Judah. And the ancient black African children of Ham as the, the children of Judah. So when the King James 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible text erased Israel 
I mean, erased the name of Judah. And remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, illegally added into the King James Bible. This is part of the misread. When Christians read Israel and Egypt for 400 years, it's a misread. Why? Because Jacob was in Israel and his son, fourth son, called the Couching Lion Things of the tribe of Judah, cast down and ruled over Goshen for 400 years. So if Israel stayed in Egypt for 400 years, then the, like, the children of Judah st stood, existed in Egypt for 400 years. Where? Well, here's where we finally uncovered the hidden secret of the geese and saints in front of the pyramids. The black man faced on the lion's body. He ruled over the land of Goshen for 400 years. Now, the problem is, the Europeans that wrote the Bible tried to give everybody a white European face. Moses, Adam, Eve, Jeremiah, Elijah, even Jesus. So let's erase the European face, false man based low God world religion mistakes that we read in the King James Bible. So since we discovered that Jerusalem is located in the B, V shaped piece of land, East African continent, I put a big red A there. But when you see the B, the V-shaped piece of land on the V-shaped piece of land, B and V, then you see, oh, 30 million years ago, that was all in the East African continent coastline. Okay. So this is way before the flood of Noah because it was the separation of the continent caused by a big moon, a, a planetary body. Today, you go out to stand on the beach, the evening and morning tides, the water come in and go out. It's caused by the, the rotation of the earth and the moon pool on the waters of the earth. So the uh, old, the oldest story that the Noah's flood was copied from would be the Epic of Gilgamesh. It's Black African Sumerian and Babylonian Tower of Babel story. Now remember, the King James Bible got most of his stories from ancient Egypt. Moses married an uh, Egyptian woman. Uh, an Ethiopian woman. Okay, so you said, wait a minute. King Solomon Black? Oh, so what you're telling us is that finally a black African continent, a line of Judah, Giza thinks two face on the Jerusalem Foundation Stone, tells us that the holy people of the King James Bible text was the children of Judah. Now, when you see that the human cell the physical light that light that created the world, the sun, is also the same light that lights every man that comes to the world. So your soul light, just let me make it simple. If I plug in the wall a lamp, it's two wires from the lamp making that light glow. If I take the scissors and cut the wire from the wall, I got you a negative and positive wire. Now, if I come over and touch your arm with the negative and positive electrical wire, you're going to get electrocuted and jump. You said, that's right. Okay. So now, feel your chest. Your heart is jumping. It's a muscle. Boom, 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 boom. boom. What's making your heart jump, jump, jump? The same electrical light that's going through the... the uh, the wire into the lamp to make your light light up in, 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 in your living room. You see, so what's that? That's, that's showing you that the soul theology of ancient Judaism was about the sun within the six-point star. And so the oldest six-point star in the Bible belonged to the African continent civilization of hell, Babylonian stone still primitive civilization. What Zachariah Sitchin showed, the 12th planet in the Biru, uh, uh, pointed out by a six-point star that has a central sun in it, and so on back to our planet. So now we see that the biblical light is hydrogen like plasma. Okay? That's what's going around all the chemical circle cells. So now we go back in time and take the cell sample from Jesus or any of the Old Testament prophets. We're going to immediately see that they have all have chemical circle cells in the black dot and center cell nucleus. Where's the light of God? Now when we put science and biology together, we need electron microscopes and stuff. Test tubes, beakers. It's okay, so now what? Well, the Royal Smith of Chicago, Illinois is telling you that the sun that comes up every day is what ancient Egypt was telling you, what ancient Judaism was telling you about. 
is the soul of theology of the biblical light that created the world. So that's the light of your car and bar, soul and mind. But if you take a dollar bill out your pocket or purse, turn it over, you're going to see that the Europeans that conquered Africa and, and sold the children of Judah, the African children of Judah and Judea, to the Greeks. These same Europeans took over ancient Egypt and lied about the black man facing front of the Egyptian pyramids on the lion's body. So this theological-based racism I discovered in the 400-year-old mistranslated European King James Bible text not only lied about the created, alien creators of man, man on Mount Sinai, and glowing circle of wood like your foe, but the same white man that, that took over Africa and Egypt, he, they, he, they put their eye in front of the sun. You know what? Now, now I'm going to close out with this because they say nations, the all seeing eye. No, 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 no. Look at the dollar bill. Take a dollar bill out of your pocket purse. Turn it over. It's a pyramid with an eye, a white man's eye in front of the pyramid. You say, what's that? Look at the eye closely. Oh, you say, the eye is in front of the sun. Case closed. You say, what? That's what the white man did. He tried to take over the sun throne of God. The same sun that creates the fruits, the natural, mad planet. The same sun that lights every cell in your body. You say, okay, nobody never told me that the European children of Shem that conquered Africa lied about the Jesus thing, lied about the biblical life of ancient Judaism. His eye is in front of the sun. It's a good reason. You say, why? Because what's looking out your eye right now? The same light that's pumping your heart. You say, what? Yeah. Wait, wait. You say, wait. Well, they kind of tripped me up in high school and college and biology books. Right. There's two lights in your body. One is hydrogen light, same light that's shining 93 million miles away from the throne of God, the biblical light that created the world. This hydrogen light, you can see it in my video. I'm going to show you a chemical circle cell with a rotating circle of hydrogen light plot. It's rotating. It's in motion. 